Hi, I'm Fee and this is my renovation project. Since the day we got the keys, we've been turning this house into our forever home. I'm an interior designer by the way, I run an interior design and renovation company with my partner Neil. And we specialise in helping first time renovators to create their dream homes. We're all about helping you make sensible choices with your renovation so that it doesn't go over budget or hit any roadblocks along the way. Subscribe to my channel for interior design advice, stories and tips for creating a home you love. Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. In my last video I took you on a behind the scenes of our dream home office renovation and I showed you the steps it took to get the room looking from this to this. We've had such lovely comments already on that video so thank you so much for making me feel really welcome as a brand new YouTuber. And if you're renovating a property soon and you're keen to get some insight on how a typical project runs, then that video is a great place to start. But in this video, I want to give those of you who are curious about the design details a closer look at how we use this office space and also how we designed the layout and the lighting and the storage to really ensure that this office was comfortable and practical for the work that Neil and I do every day. So hopefully in this video I'll give you some ideas if you're designing a home office space or even an area of your home that you're planning to use as dual purpose, a dual purpose office area in your living space or dining room. So keep watching because there are some techniques I want to show you to help you keep your desk design feeling really inspiring and looking clutter free. So come on inside the Thief McGee headquarters and let me give you the old grand tour. So as you walk into the room, we've got this gorgeous chest of drawers from made.com in a beautiful putty colour with these simple brass handles. And two things sold this piece of furniture for us. The first is how much storage this gives our tiny room. Uh, Neil stores all of his photography equipment in one side and I lined each drawer with this fun coloured rubber mat that we bought from Amazon to stop lenses slipping around. And then we have stationery, paper, books and even a printer tucked into the other side which keeps the surface really clear for me to work on and uh, pull together colour schemes and drawings for clients. The second reason this furniture was an instant yes for us was the depth of the unit itself. When you're designing a small or narrow space like this, it's so important that you don't place furniture that's too deep, say anything above 400 millimetres, into walkways as it can really close off the flow of the room. It took us quite a long time to find this piece, but it has just the right dimensions. It doesn't jut out into the room too much, it's just right. One thing to note though is that the drawers don't have runners when you open them. It's something I would have changed if we could because it can be a little bit stiff for everyday use. And it's just one thing to keep in mind if you'll be looking for drawers or sideboards anytime soon. Above the office drawers, we installed this clear glass whiteboard which got a few raised eyebrows from members of our Renault Club community. They'd not seen anything like it before. But again, it's just another Amazon purchase. I just swapped the standoff screws to a matte black from a different supplier to match the radiator valves and our light switch. But we often use it uh, to put on post-it notes when we're having planning sessions. And in the past, we've put post-it notes on walls, but it's really damaged the paintwork. Um, whereas, yeah, this is perfect. I wanted somewhere to stick floor plans to. An ordinary whiteboard would have been pretty tricky to keep clean and they can get quite scruffy and um, just a bit messy to look at quite quickly. And they just kind of remind me of school classrooms and who wants that in their like new office space, right? But these sleek glass whiteboards are versatile and the reflective surface actually bounces quite a lot of light in the room. One of our Renault Club members had the idea to fix one in her children's playroom, which I thought was such a lovely idea. Um, and it comes in various sizes, so the smaller version, say, would look great in a playroom or even a family kitchen or utility room for all of your to-do lists. So moving on to the shutters, these were previously gifted to us by Hillary's and the primary reason we have them in here is mainly to enhance the exterior view of the property but shutters are also really great for enhancing the room as well as giving amazing curb appeal. They complement any colour scheme or any kind of style um, and the slats are all completely adjustable which means that come the afternoon when the sun comes round to this side of the house I can flick the slats and minimise any screen glare uh, while still keeping the room light enough to work in. People often say Venetian blinds are a good alternative to shutters but I have to disagree. If you can wait a bit longer and save for shutters 
they're worth the extra pounds because they're easier to clean, they're more secure um, and they give a much cleaner and classier finish in my opinion with no cords that pose a danger to children. The piece de resistance in this room has to be the home office cabinetry which was designed by me and built by our incredible carpentry team. Coming up with the design itself, I tend to get a lot of inspiration from companies like Neptune, Tom Howdy Kitchens, Duval, who really specialise in high quality uh, joinery work. And I essentially took a whole series of images, screenshot the exact locations of the pieces of furniture um, and sent them to our carpenter to say, can you give me some moulding that looks like this, can I get a door that looks like this, can I also get a cutout at the near the base of the unit that looks like this sort of shape and collectively we created what you can see now. You may find this happening to you at some point but we had this room to decorate and it was just proving impossible to find the right furniture dimensions for the desks. We initially wanted two desks that would fill this whole wall and just found nothing from high street suppliers that was going to be up to the job and the right measurements. And freestanding furniture can be really pricey as well, so we made the decision to go bespoke and just didn't look back. If you're working with small rooms like this, or say a bathroom, you really need to utilise every single corner of space and it's really important. I always, I always urge people to consider increasing their budget slightly for built-in solutions that are going to give you exactly what you want and uh, bring that added storage and make savings like elsewhere in the room. We're using the top shelf of the unit to house all of my interior design samples inside these seagrass baskets which we bought from Neptune and I've labelled them up with the help of an independent Etsy seller who made these lovely little tags for me. I'll pop a link to her shop in um, the description, plus all of the products that we purchased um, as part of this renovation. But this is such a nice way to level up your storage and would work just as well in other rooms of your house. You know, Etsy shop owners are actually um, really great for the small detailed items like this and also the air vent cover was purchased on, on Etsy. You know, your, your typical plastic or metal vent cover from B&Q just wouldn't have fit well with the design of this unit. Um, and this one is made from plaster by an Etsy seller and is fully paintable to make it blend into its surroundings. Moving on to the workspace itself, I had a lot of material options to decide on for the actual worktop. Um, we could have gone with wood, laminate, um, marble or granite but we didn't want anything that could easily develop coffee stains or require any kind of maintenance. Laminate kind of wasn't really for us either, um, as it can scuff around the edges. So instead we went with this solid surface Carrera White worktop, which is non-porous, it's unbelievably strong, and it's so easy to clean and maintain. Um, it's completely white running through the core as well, which means that any knocks or dinks that it might suffer over the years won't be visible. In my last video, I showed you how I plan and design projects creating a home design pack. Um, and I form all the decisions and details and document them in this sort of way. And it's mainly to um, visually display important elements um, like the layouts, electrics, material plans, but I also drill deeper and decide on the finer details that goes into finishing a room. And knowing that we were going to have open shelving in the room, I knew that whatever we placed on it had to be curated in a way that complemented the overall room design. So when I was using my home design pack, I set aside a budget for styling. Um, you know, it's no good creating open shelves and dressing them predominantly with belongings that look cluttered and mismatched. So before the unit was even built, I knew exactly what I wanted on the shelves and documented that in the home design pack. I knew how high the shelves needed to be, I was going to bring in plants, personal photographs and some of my interior design books as well that needed storing, but they look every bit as lovely just out and about. If you have any shelves in your home, then I recommend doing as I've done here and choosing an accent colour scheme. You'll see that I've gone for black and a muted yellow with the black candlesticks, black frames and book spines and then touches of visually interesting pieces like these clay bowls that I picked up all in one trip from Zara. 
If your shelves are up high, then placing a trailing plant on one side, which unites all three shelves, and also mix up your books so they sit under bowls and plants and lean vertically. I go back and forth with clients, sending pics and advising them on WhatsApp about where to move items on their shelves. And one technique that seems to work every time is mixing large items with something small beside it. Don't feel like you have to match everything and really mix up your sizes and shapes and it kind of creates a much more curated look. Next, let's geek out and talk about the cable management <laughs> because I know it's a tough one for people to work with, um, especially if your desk is in a living area of your home. We had two 15 mm holes cut out of the worktop on each side to feed cables through, which you can do to almost any piece of furniture or material. What it does is it disguises the cables pretty well, um, provided that you have the, the hole sort of drilled really close to your screen. But if, like us, you've got multiple wires for headphone charging, keyboard charging, it can still look a little bit messy. So we found this plastic tubing to wrap around the cables and keep them all in one place. If you're designing your home office desk to be inside a living room or dining room, then you really want it to look clutter-free and minimal, and this could be a really handy solution to tidy wires up. No one likes that feeling of getting your legs caught in wires underneath your desk as you're moving around. You can just imagine the frustration when you accidentally kick a wire and your computer screen switches off and you lose all your work, and that's happened to me so many times with our old office setup. So Neil built a two-sided ledge underneath the desk to house our extension leads and wires, which keeps it all really accessible and super neat and tidy. And again, this can be retrofitted to furniture if you're looking for a similar solution in your home. I love having a really clear desk with any bits like hand cream and samples easily tidied away for the day. And these trays from Zara are really cute for this. I think it's a soap dish, but whatever it is, it works really well to just chuck loads of samples in. I've also decorated the desks with some matching table lamps. The base is from Heels and the lampshade is from Pookie. And these are fabs to just switch on when we're working late or if it starts to get dark pretty early in the evenings during winter. Over on Neil's side of the office desk, I had my work cut out for me to make his area less like chunky and ugly. <laughs> Believe me, I pleaded with him to trade in his gigantic monitor for something much more sleek like my Mac, but there's no budging the guy. On my side of the unit are three drawers, but then on Neil's side, we've hidden his PC tower neatly inside this cupboard with a beautiful cabinet latch by R. Mac Martin. I absolutely adore their handles, which we've matched in other areas of the room. These are the uh, Cotswold collection, and they manufacture very timeless designs that I often recommend to clients to upgrade things like their TV units, kitchen handles, and understair cupboards. Neil had to really consider the ventilation since his PC is prone to getting really hot, um, especially after long hours of video editing. So he installed this small three-speed fan into the side of the unit to remove any hot air, which we thought was actually really genius and solved a huge problem. It stops his uh, PC from getting way too overheated. A lot of the time, my work as a designer is to come up with visually beautiful solutions to clients' problems because too often it's quite easy to overlook the details when you're excited about decorating. But I really encourage people to just slow down a little bit and consider how you use your home every single day so that the design plans you put together have the opportunity to enhance your life, not just your home as you decorate. Rather than choosing colours, furniture and materials on the fly, I always encourage my clients and students to audit and analyse how they use the space making a list of their requirements, and it really helps them to think outside the box and not miss or regret decisions later. This is exactly how Neil and I approach all of our own projects in our home, and I think the proof is right here in this office. We started with our wants and needs, and now we've got an office that we feel so happy in, and it just works for, it works for us. If you're keen to get our support with your project, then take a look at our online courses. We have one that's specifically for renovators who need step-by-step -step guidance from start to finish. 
and the other is for renovators and home decorators who need further support to develop their home design um, and make all the elements flow. I've popped links in the description box for you to take a look at as well as all of our product links as well um, to give you some inspiration for shopping for your home. Um, and there's also a free guide in there too, you can take a look at that. Although our YouTube channel is super new, I've been teaching design and renovation advice for a number of years now over at fifamcgee.co.uk and there's so much I want to share with you to come. So if you like this video, please consider subscribing. It really helps to give my channel a boost and I have loads of design tours and tips that I want to support you with in future. So thanks so much for watching this video and happy designing.